Hello everybody and welcome to another video. It's a very short one today. Um, if I haven't tacked this on to the end of the last one, but we're up here in Sinclair Dog Reservoir. Wine Gadar, which is a little spot. I'm just gonna look at this sign because I think you could park overnight here. It's got quite a nice view, which I'll show you in a second. When we come down the Glendur Way, we came down those trees around that little bit and past this like boat house here, and then off and up and across. Imagine this is a hive of activity in the summertime. It's almost tempting now. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone here though. I'd take a canoe if there were. Actually, no, I wouldn't. I want to get. I want to get on. Just over the far end of that visitor centre that was closed that time. The uh, cafe looks very closed. I don't see any opening times on here. Oh well. I don't really think I'm going to stop anyway, I want to push on. Just driven across that dam down there. It's the uh, bottom half of Sinclair Dog. And there's the dam. Oh my god, look. There's the way, no, that's not the way. This is the way we came down, that road, down here. Yep, there's the ruins. Oh, my feet are hurting. Right, let's carry on, let's push right on. This shows us the um, extent of the lake and how bizarrely shaped it is, I suppose. So, we must be here. Right, let's get on with it. Lovely day to visit the lake. Oops. Well, no overnight uh, signs saying you can't stay. What's this sign say actually? Oh, <laughs> that one does. Okay, what about that one though? I don't know. That doesn't say no overnight. I guess you could in this section then. It's quite sort of sheltered. I wonder if you can get down here somewhere, I'm not quite sure, except for a place to stop, what you'd use this bit for. Doesn't look like any paths nearby. Makes me wonder where people actually do go. Oh, this is it. Ah, nice enough. Right, I'm going to move on now and I'll take you to the next place which is a little uh, mining establishment in Delive. Here we are in Delive, the very windy spot. There's, there's not a lot here really. Um, the Star Inn, that's where I stayed when I did this section of the Glendur Way. I came down off of it, down this path. Yes, yes. This is it. This is the turn off. This is the Cambrian Way. Then the way goes that way and we'll rejoin it tomorrow. But uh, this is the way. Ah, oh, and there it is. Oh, yes. Right. I am so relieved to see that. Oh, my God. My fingers are numb. I'm going to put my gloves back on. Oh, God. 
I will see you from inside. Um, it's the window way runs across the top of that ridge. The day after, the day after here. I mean, I've never had nice weather here, but it was snowed the second day. The first day just rained a lot. That is a hell of a climb. That was a good warm up. Uh, as you can see, we're on the tops and we don't go much higher than this. In fact, we're pretty soon we'll be reaching the highest point of the whole uh, journey, the whole 145 miles. <coughs> oh dear. And I was a bit worried that with snow, it might be hard to keep a track of the path, but well, fingers crossed, it should be all right because uh, well, if anything, it's made it contrast, it's easier to follow. Let's have a look at this tip. From the mining, I guess. Right, uh, there are some cyclists coming through. And there's a bit of traffic. But I'm just going to go up onto the Glindwood Way and get a view from up there. God, the weather's foul today. It's just misty and windy, it's been everywhere I've been today. Bit of rain, not much rain, but still drizzle. Here we are, this is very different to the last time. I think this was mostly frozen when I came up here last time. Here's a very important crossroads, because not only is it where I stopped day five of the Glindor Way, and then started day six, through the snow, but it's also where the Cambrian Way crosses the Glindur Way. So the sign marker here. I don't know what's meant to be in that, the weather's got into it. Uh, but yeah, the Cambrian Way, which we saw when we were up in Snowdon, if you Snowdonia. Hey look, the Cambrian Way. If I ever feel adventurous enough, I might do that. But I need kit to deal with all weather that I could rely on. Even if you haven't seen that video by Llyn Ogwen, it actually skirts around Llyn Ogwen, the, the Cambrian Way. It's mostly a set footpath in places, but you have your choice of routes, I believe. It's not ever anything I'm going to accomplish, probably. But yeah, that is supposed to be a very hard walk. We have, tomorrow I want to finish the Glindor Way. I want to finish from Pont Flogel to Myvod, and then the day after that, it's only about 10 miles, I think, and the day after that is also about 11 miles from Myvod to Welshpool, which is the end of the walk. So that'd be nice to finish that this week. My legs are feeling a bit of the burn already on the uphill, but that's to be expected after yesterday's jaunt ended up being a bit longer than I thought it would be because of the amount of times I had to turn back and yeah, my legs were cut to ribbons on thorns. Bit of a different day today though. Firmly not wearing shorts, although my trousers are a bit wet now. <laughs> right then, oh look, the motorbike's been up here. Um, I'm gonna head down to um, Clambrin Mire next. Uh, I might stop there and just get the camera out and say a final farewell, but if not, uh, I'll catch you in another video. And thank you for watching. But yeah, might might as well stop there, I think. Depends on the weather. But yeah, Thambrin Mire will be the next stop, and then I'm heading home. It's been a, a lovely mini break, couple of days out. Chance to take the car out for a bit of a longer drive as well. And um, just get to see a bit more of well, uh, areas of Wales that I don't know too well. This has been nice. The weather hasn't been the best, but the accommodation was excellent. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you again. Bye. Look at this, I don't know if you can see them, but they're cyclists on a day like today. That's madness. They must be mad. There's some sort of cycling event on. How am I walking in the road? I don't know. Just thought I'd um, quickly show you the view of that 
mountain that we sort of came down the side of. This is uh, quite the steep descent. And as you can see, it is thawing. I'm not sure where the snow line will end. It's soon though. This is sketchy without poles. And good God, I'm glad I'm not trying to climb up here. Um, when we did the Glendor away, only it's not much of a view. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna get out of the car for that. <laughs> oh God! Right. So yeah, I'm going to slamber in mine now that I've got phone signal. <laughs> I have stopped in slamber in mine. Um, I'm not gonna hang about though because it's horrid. Um, but there is um back that way is the way we went. When when I first arrived to go to well underneath the railway bridge really to do that leg of the Glindor Way. <clears throat> um. Anyway, I've been to the shop and I have bought. An iced coffee flavoured milk. I'm not sure if there's any caffeine in it because it's coffee flavoured. Um, don't know. It says to shake well though. Don't know how much it was. Well, best part of a fiver though. Uh, and a sausage roll, which I'm going to enjoy. So. Uh, then I'm going to head home. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in the next one, which will hopefully be tomorrow's walk. Bye. Okay, signs of cattle again. This could be fun. I've only got these walking sticks. And everyone knows that the only way to deal with cattle is a little bit of blue pipe. <laughs> Don't miss the turn off. Quite hard to see actually with the bracken all growing over it.